Honeywell's smart runway and smart landing systems are industry-leading safety solutions designed to minimize the risk of runway accidents and improve efficiency by reducing the cost of go-arounds. The smart runway and smart landing systems are an upgrade to Honeywell's already successful Enhanced Ground Proximity Warning System. On December 29, 1972, Eastern Airlines Flight 401 crashed into the Florida Everglades, killing over 100 passengers and crew. The crew were distracted by a malfunctioning indicator light and did not notice that the aircraft began a gradual descent. A perfectly working aircraft was inadvertently flown into the ground. Preventable accidents such as this used to be a common event in aviation. In fact, CFIT was the leading cause of airline fatalities well into the 1990s. A CFIT accident is one where a fully functioning aircraft is unintentionally flown into the ground, usually due to a loss of the pilot's situational awareness. Several studies were commissioned to examine these accidents and determine if a solution was possible. Don Bateman, a Honeywell engineer, is credited with developing the solution known as the Ground Proximity Warning System, which warns pilots of high terrain closure rates. Terrain, terrain, pull up. The Ground Proximity Warning System was immensely successful in preventing CFIT accidents. Later, the Enhanced Ground Proximity Warning System provided more warnings earlier. In fact, its implementation is credited with the near elimination of CFIT accidents by large passenger jets. After the successful reduction of CFIT events, Honeywell began to focus on another common threat, runway incursions and excursions. According to most aviation safety groups, runway incursions and excursions are now a leading cause of aircraft accidents. They are usually caused by the loss of the pilot's positional awareness and can have serious consequences. A runway incursion occurs when an aircraft enters a runway without authorization. On average, a runway incursion occurs at least once a day worldwide. A runway excursion is when an aircraft overshoots a runway during takeoff or landing. Runway excursions are now the most frequent type of accident. On the night of July 7, 2017, an Airbus A320 was cleared to land on runway 28 right at San Francisco International Airport. The A320 conducting a visual approach at night, incorrectly lined up to land on the adjacent parallel taxiway. At the same time, the taxiway was occupied by four large aircraft full of passengers. The A320 pilots realized the mistake when they were less than 100 feet above the aircraft on the taxiway and initiated a go-around, a near catastrophe that could have claimed over 1,000 lives. Near misses such as these have occurred on multiple occasions. To combat runway incursions and excursions, Honeywell introduced the Runway Awareness and Advisory System in 2003. Its purpose was to increase pilots' positional awareness and alert the crew when they were approaching a runway or when they attempted to take off from a runway that was too short. Approaching zero, one, left. This system proved to be successful and was adopted by many airline operators worldwide. Honeywell continued to make improvements to this technology and in 2009 introduced the Smart Runway and Smart Landing System, an evolution of the Runway Awareness and Advisory System containing more advanced safety features. Honeywell's Smart Runway and Smart Landing System effectively addresses the problem of runway incursions and excursions by using early visual and all roll indicators to alert the pilot of a potential problem. Approaching 2, 8, left. These indications can give the pilot enough time to make necessary corrections, potentially reducing the need for a go-around, which in turn increases efficiency while reducing operational costs. If a go-around is necessary, the Smart Runway and Smart Landing System notifies the flight crew of the threat earlier. Caution! Short runway! Short runway! An earlier go-around also increases safety and cuts down on costs due to the reduced time and fuel required during the subsequent climb. In fact, 
The NTSB report of the A320 San Francisco near miss states that if the aircraft had Honeywell's smart runway and smart landing system, the flight crew could have been notified of their error much earlier. A simulation conducted by Honeywell at the request of the NTSB showed that the crew would have been alerted about the taxiway landing at an altitude of 235 feet. Caution, taxiway, caution, taxiway. The A320 descended to an altitude of 59 feet before it began climbing, approximately the same height as the tails of the aircraft on the taxiway. Today, one of the most frequent types of aviation accidents are runway excursions. A runway excursion can happen for a number of reasons, the most common being an unstable approach leading to a long landing. An unstable approach occurs when an aircraft is too high too fast or not in a proper configuration to land. Unstable approaches very often contribute to the aircraft landing long. Approximately 30 runway excursions take place every year, and that number is increasing. According to a study by the Australian Transport Safety Bureau, between 1998 and 2007, there were 141 runway excursions, resulting in 550 fatalities. Runway excursions are the modern-day CFIT. Just as Honeywell addressed CFIT, Honeywell's smart landing system addresses the threats that cause runway excursions today. Let's look at a scenario where the smart landing system can save an aircraft from a potential runway excursion. In this scenario, the aircraft is on final approach, and the flying pilot has asked for the flaps to be set for landing. At the same time, the non-flying pilot responds to a radio call from the tower, and due to the confusion, the flaps are not set properly. As a result, the aircraft is faster than it should be and in an unstable approach condition, substantially increasing the risk of a runway excursion. In this case, without Honeywell's smart landing system, the crew would not receive any alerts until below 250 feet. With smart landing, a pilot would receive an initial alert at 1,000 feet. Flaps! Flaps! At this point, the pilot might elect to correct the problem in lieu of a go-around. The smart landing system continuously monitors the approach for stability. In the event that the pilot is not able to make the necessary corrections in time, the system would alert him via the unstable alert at 500 feet. Unstable! Unstable! which is the minimum recommended go-around altitude for an unstable approach in visual conditions. Anytime you're in the terminal area getting ready to fly an approach, the workload from about 10,000 feet to the ground ramps up exponentially with uh, the situation. And it's easy to lose track of some basic things, uh, even though most pilots are very good at this because they're able to compartmentalize the situation and take care of one thing at a time until they're ready to, to, to put the airplane on the ground. But just in case something goes wrong or something gets missed, now we have a stabilized approach monitor or a, uh, in, in this case, the this, this smart landing system to give you warnings that you're too high or give you a warning that your, your flaps aren't where they should be at some point on the approach. It's an early warning, it backs it up way early from the airport where it's critical. It gets this warning done on the approach somewhere where you have time to do something about it and, and not be uh, time critical at that point. So yeah, I, that's why I would like, I like the smart landing idea. Another unique innovation by Honeywell is the altimeter monitor. There have been a number of reported incidents that involved incorrect altimeter settings. An incorrectly set altimeter can be caused by something as simple as a misheard weather report and can result in the loss of separation from aircraft or terrain. This is especially true during an approach with vertical guidance. During these situations, Honeywell's altimeter monitor alerts the pilot of a possible incorrect altimeter setting. Altimeter setting. This function is unique to Smart Runway Smart Landing and is also available via Airbus Service Bulletin for their EGPWS customers. In recent years, Honeywell has introduced the new Mark 5A. Using the latest hardware, software, and development resources, the Mark 5A provides significant growth capability due to increased memory and processing capability. 
Some of the new safety features planned for the Mark 5A include a takeoff acceleration monitor. Takeoff performance calculations depend on many data inputs, including weather, passenger, cargo, and fuel loading, all coming from different sources during time-sensitive pre-flight conditions. An error in one or more of the sources could cause incorrect takeoff performance data. Many times, this leads to late rotations on takeoff. These errors can go undetected until it's too late. In fact, in this scenario, the aircraft may not have enough runway remaining in the event of an aborted takeoff. The Mark 5A monitors acceleration rate during takeoff and alerts the crew at 70 to 80 knots if the acceleration is abnormally low. Caution, acceleration, acceleration. This allows the crew to safely make a low speed rejection. In addition to the takeoff acceleration monitor, Honeywell aims to leverage the additional memory and processing capability of the Mark 5A to introduce a number of additional apps, such as the paired approach. Today, terrain avoidance and warning systems are commonplace in the airline industry. However, Honeywell hasn't stopped in its relentless pursuit of safety. The increased capabilities of the Mark 5A is enabling Honeywell to develop exciting new features and applications that improve safety and crew situational awareness well beyond traditional terrain alerting.